Well, welcome back. You're watching the Friday Briefing. Cometh the time, cometh the man. And I'm talking about Willis the Word Master. We're just about to interact with him. I'm definitely looking forward to Willis. Happy New Year, first of all. I hope you have resolutions for 2019. <laughs> happy New Year, Jesse Rogers. And in fact, before I even say Happy New Year to you and Ashley Mazuri, I know Ashley is not with you tonight, but I have to say that because some friends told me that when it comes to punchy and captivating news delivery, they said I should remind you that you are right there. How have you started the new year, Jesse? Well, I've started it very well, I must say. It's only four days into the new year. So let's see what the new year has in store for us. Well, let's get started, Willis. Definitely. Let's just take a look at what on the street before we get to know more about the words you have for us tonight. Debut. 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 Debuted. 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 Well, that's very interesting. Willis, um, I know the word is debut, <laughs> but in this form, how exactly do you pronounce it, meaning to perform for the first time? How do you pronounce it, Willis? <laughs> Well, uh, Jesse, such words can be tricky because, in fact, such a word, uh, many people, when it's in the verb form, uh, what you've just pronounced correctly, many people would find themselves mispronouncing it as debut or debut or debut. But we say debut or debut when it's a verb. But now the form that we have on the street is the past tense or past participle of the verb debut and it means to make first public appearance, and the pronunciation is debuted, debuted. That T is not pronounced. You say debut, and then debuted. So on the street, they should have said debuted. Debuted. Um, many thanks, Willis. At least now we know yes. that the past participle of debut is debuted. Okay, let's go to the collections yes. of the week. The very first word is Santa Claus or Santa Claus, you know, resonating with um, the Western culture and the Christmas spirit. How exactly do we pronounce Santa? Uh, Santa is simply Santa. There are words which are pronounced the way they are spelled, going by the letter sequence. When we talk about phonetic spelling, that is where the sounds correspond directly with the letters that are in a word. But this one, Santa, is simply Santa, and then you say clause. But we should remember that it is an alteration of Dutch dialect, Santa Claus, and it refers to a fat, cheerful old man with a long white beard who brings children their presents on Christmas Eve, Jesse. So it's Santa Claus. Santa Claus, okay. It's not Santa Claus. Is it okay to say Santa Claus? Well, when we go to the origin of that word, you may find those variations. With names, they're tricky, but that A and U function as a digraph. And a digraph is a combination of two letters representing one sound. In this case, the A and U combine to represent the long sound O. So you say clause, Santa Claus. Santa Claus, okay. Let's move over to the next word. Now, it means a small electric generator that has a magnet. Is it magneto or magneto? Jesse, many people would say or would ask me, Willis, are you kidding? But I would tell our viewers that we don't pronounce this word the way it is spelled. You don't say magneto. It's very common locally, but that is a mispronunciation. Letter E takes the long sound E. So you say neto, neto, magneto. But the spelling is M-A-G-N-E-T-O. So what we should avoid is magneto. We say magneto. Magneto. Okay, Willis. Um, the next word means eager or quick to argue. Is it pugnacious or pugnacious? Oh, 
In that word, Jesse, letter U, takes the mid-central sound, uh. So you say pa, pa, pugnacious, pugnacious. Don't say pugnacious, pugnacious. And we also say pugnacity, pugnacity. That is, uh, we can also remind people that, uh, you know, as you've explained it, that when somebody has a strong desire to argue or fight with other people, uh, you say such a person is pugnacious. That is an adjective. So I would also say those who are too pugnacious should not join politics because politics is so stormy. Very interesting, Willis. Thank you for that. Now, this next word is an adjective, meaning having a ready insight into and understanding of things. Quite mouthful, perspicacious, perspicacious. Oh, please shed more light on this. Oh, you are talking about perspicacious, perspicacious. So you say pass, then P, then you have the primary stress. Cacious, perspicacious. Perspicacious. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm happy. Um, next word. Um, it's, it looks simple, but I, in, there must be a trick to it. A person who estimates something's worth, is it a valuer or a valuer? How, how do you pronounce it? Well, locally, many people find themselves saying valuer. I am a valuer. Valuer, no. You have valuer. You have the word value then valuer, and you also say valuation. Okay, valuer. Um, kept secret because it wouldn't be approved of. Um, surreptitious, surreptitious. Oh, yes, you say sa, surreptitious. Ah. Just like you'd talk about or you'd make a sentence like, the suspected robbers left the building in a surreptitious manner. They left very fast or quickly, uh, you know, in a bed or trying to avoid anybody noticing that they were leaving. So you say the suspected robbers left the building in a surreptitious manner. So the pronunciation is surreptitious. Okay, over to the next word. It's a young ship. Bone of contention might be whether it is lumb or lum. Is the B silent, Willis? Yes, Jesse, you say lamb. That B is silent. You don't say lamb. Many people find themselves saying lamb, but that is wrong. In fact, sometimes I say we can do better if education systems in the world laid enough emphasis on pronunciation, just like on grammar and vocabulary. I always talk about that because if we could be taught from that tender age or the nascent stage of education, we could know such kind of aspects, but sometimes it's uh, you know, a question of people innocently using what they commonly hear locally, but we don't say lamb. You say lamb because B is a silent, just like in the word bomb, not bomb. Bombers, not bombers. The comb, not comb. Combing, yes. Combing, no. So the B is a silent, Jesse. Okay, many thanks, Willis. The next word means a prison officer. Is it a warden or warden? Or you, that is W-A-R-D-E-N. Yes, yes, Willis. Or you say a warden. A, a warden. warden. That is a person who takes care of a place and ensures that every rule is followed. You say a warden. That A and R also combine to form the long sound O. You say warden, but you can also say warden with a weak sound eh. Remember, you also say warder, like a prison, warder, warder, not warder. It's warder and warden or warden. Warder. I think I've just learned that many thanks, Willis. Now, a person who's skilled in cutting and laying stones to buildings, is it a mason or a mason? Jesse, when we look at that word, we find ourselves saying mason, especially locally where we are used to pronouncing words the way we see the letters arranged. That is the letter sequences. But this word, letter A, takes its name as the sound in that word. That is may, not ma. You say a mason, masonry, and you also say Jason for that name. But many people find themselves saying Jason. That is what is very common locally. 
but if we want to get it right or accurately, you know, right, you say Jason, masonry, and for our word, it's a mason. A mason. Okay, Willis, let's take a look at yes. what feedback and surprise words and confusing words you have for us tonight. Well, let's start with uh, a very, very, you know, regular fan. That is Ahmed Guhad of Garissa. Ahmed Guhad, oh, you, you keep it up. Keep it up because I can't see your words clearly. Rosaline or Rosalind, that is Rosalind Mokaya of Fly 540. Rosalind Mokaya of Fly 540 in Nairobi. You say sales, sales for S-A-L-E-S, -E sales. Then S-E-L-L-S, -L -L you say sales. The first one has the glide A, sales and marketing. The second one has the pure sound A, sales. Mabash Josephine of Tororo, Uganda. Oh, this one is very popular. You say criteria, criteria. Many people say criteria locally, but that is inaccurate. You say criteria. Felix Asete of Nairobi, you say Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, and then you have hierarchy. But remember, in American pronunciation, we also have hierarchy. Caxton Wycliffe of Moyale, you say magazine. Magazine, don't say magazine. Magazine, no. Magazine. Then news. News. Don't say news. We have the voiced sound, z, news. Senator Robio Veldanaba, Mandera, you say anesthetist. An anesthetist. Then you also say anesthetize. But remember, we say anesthesia, anesthesia. Don't say anesthesia, anesthesia. Those are very tricky words, and I'm talking about changing the forms of words for grammatical function, which is technically called inflections. But I hope you get your word right. Wafula Jackson of Kakamega, you say HIV. Many people find themselves saying H. HIV, no. The name of that letter is H, HIV and you say scourge, scourge, not scourge. Solomon, AKA Ibrands of Nairobi, you say voucher and vulture. A voucher and vulture. Evans Ocheng Cantona, Evans Ocheng Cantona of Kajulu Kisumu, burial, the second word is tricky. French speakers may guide us better, but you say Peugeot or Pojo. But French speakers can tell us the right pronunciation or the most accurate pronunciation of the name of that car. But you can say Peugeot or Peugeot. That is in English. Florence Mutisia of Kitui, column. That N is silent. Don't say column. Column. Then we have, lastly, Humphrey Kimurgor of Kapsabet, Rift Valley. Oh, thank you very much. If you love English that much, keep it up and always keep it KTN our dear brother. Now we go straight to the surprise word for tonight. And many people would also find themselves mispronouncing this word. When they look at the spelling, then they say Jewel. Jewel, no. Dear viewers, you say Jewel. Jewel. Remember that is a precious stone such as diamond or a piece of special glass. Jewel. Don't say Jewel or Jewel the way some people find themselves saying. And then you say Jewelry, jewelry, don't say jewelry. Then be jeweled, be jeweled, and then jeweler. So get them right. Confusing words. We have the upper word when we talk about a regular amount of money that you earn for work or services that you've rendered. We talk of wage, wage, don't say wedge. Wedge is the lower word, and this is about a piece of wood, rubber, or metal. Uh, used to, you know, keep a door open or to split wood. You say wedge, pure sound A. Eh. This one has the glide A, A, eh, wedge and wedge. Then finally, on KTN, remember every Friday, during Friday briefing, and especially during this segment, that is Mind Your Language, you have a chance also to understand those phonetic or sound symbols which are used in giving people, you know, guide in good dictionaries on how to pronounce words. Here we have for you what we call a diphthong. Diphthong is a glide involving two vowel sounds, and this one is ow. We have the sounding ow in English words, different words, but I've given you three here. You say couch, don't say coach. Couch, pouch, 
not porch, and vouch, not vouch. To vouch for something, not to vouch for something. So you'll realize I'm saying ow in these words. Couch, pouch, vouch. This one is the diphthong which is there, and when you see this kind of symbol or the two symbols, you know it's the diphthong ow only on KTN every Friday. Otherwise, for all those who missed our show or our segment last week, we've seen your words and the rest of those questions, I'll ensure that I handle them next week. Otherwise, I wish to say Happy New Year on behalf of my cameraman in Kisumu, Mburu, and Dan. Back to Nairobi. Well done, Willis. Always a pleasure to have you with us and actually shed more light on proper pronunciation in terms of the Queen's English. We duly appreciate. Have yourself a happy new year as well. Well, that marks the end of Friday Briefing. Of course, it has been a pleasure having you with us for the whole one hour and uh, approximately 19 minutes or so. So it is really a pleasure. Um, let's meet next Friday, same time, same place. Do make sure you interact with us on our social media handles as well. My name is Jesse Rogers. Till next time, bye-bye for now. <laughs>